Oh, Grand Rising is here. Y'all gotta start saying, y'all gotta start saying good morning, man. Ultimate elevations to all the loved ones, Elohimian and the spiritual and strong, the ones that got it going on, or the ones on the journey to get it going. You feel me? And that's on Elohim, man. Yeah, y'all used to tap the screen for me, y'all, but it's all right, man. It's all right. You just gotta be, you just gotta do it yourself, man. I don't look at you like that. You feel what I'm saying? I ain't even know how I was looking at you. Good morning, gang. Nah, Josh, it's too much for you now, bro. I get Hi. Trash. Hummed it a lot to you too, man. Glory be to the Lord. It's a wonderful Friday, man. I'm back on that C4, man. I was up in there since 4 o'clock. Got out there about 7, man. I was, that, that, that crack got me going, man. Mm. Doobie Wop. You know, if you know what TC is, you know what TC is. You know what I'm saying? But, man, that thing definitely trash, man. I'm getting trashed by the day. Like, I don't be trying to be good like everybody else. I like going to the courts and just be dribbling the ball. And people be thinking I'm good and shit. They be like, yo, we're going to pick him up. Don't do it. You're not going to win. <laughs> Definitely that crack. Definitely that crack. What am I eating? I'm eating the fruits of the spirit. So you came in, you came in good, brother. He said, hum to the law. You know what I mean? He's like, what you eating? I knew it was something, bro. You didn't bring your lunch ticket today, did you, man? Go down to the principal's office, man. He giving out free lunch tickets, man. Why I be smacking? Because I'm helping the people with the ASMRs who be in the live when they go over to YouTube and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? I like to take care of all my loved ones. How is your blessing day? So you being too nosy, Elizabeth. You sound like you trying to set me up for, for a robbery or something. Like you want to see how blessed it is so you can send them, oh, go rob his happiness. Nope. You know what I'm saying? You got to be more tactical. But I'm glad my loved ones are here today. If you at work, let them know you going on a lunch break. If they say for how long, say, hey, only the father knows that time. It's not my job to know the time or the hour. Only the father knows. Um, you got to answer for everything. And you got to. And you got two cents and no change. <laughs> oh, glory be on to the Lord, man. Peace be with you, too. Oh, it's going to be a lot of speed recoveries today. We ain't even get to it, Art. We ain't give it to it. You understand me? Currently on lunch break, stay there. Stay there. Hold on. Ha. My trash really looking like trash. You feel what I'm saying? Every time you pop up on my phone, I get so happy. I'll be smiling hard from here. You better calm down. But that man come up in there and clothesline you. You better quit smiling like that in your happy home. Do you follow your members on the internet? I got much, much love. Most definitely. Some of y'all, if you, if, you know, if people, if somebody said, love one, I was trying to miss. I don't want people to think I'm that good. Because if, if everybody see your greatness wet, they going to they gonna hate on you. So you got to show a little trash. Like you got to act trash about something. So they be like, oh, he's like us. You got to blend in with the mediocres. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, some people be like, follow me back. And I don't follow them back because you're not going to be talking to me like that. <laughs> you're not going to be talking to me like that. You know? But I be, I be, I definitely, the ones that subscribe, yeah. Yeah. Wait, don't be, don't be showing people your greatness like that because they, they going to like trip on purpose sometimes, make them feel like you stumble at life. You feel me? 
It's an inside joke with you and God. You know what I'm saying? That's how you keep the smoke away from your campfire. Write that down. That's how you keep the smoke away from your campfire. Write that down. And glory be unto the Lord. Mm, it's good. It's good. I got a few left now. I got a few left. So, I'm about to eat these. But let me say it to the ones that's new. Welcome to the garden where you're going to get the truth. Nothing but the truth. So help us God, Jehovah Jireh, who reigns through the spirit of Christ, who rules with the comfort of the Holy Spirit. If you get your feelings hurt, I wish you a speedy recovery. Take that new energy to God and ask him what happened. Did he just say, I wish you a speedy recovery? I did. You probably going to be the one that's going to get your feelings hurt. Don't be warm. Is it true that God has regrets? You wouldn't ask that unless you knew that. Glory be unto the Lord. If you read it, you know what's popping. Hello, why are you yelling, Angela? Why are you yelling? Take them exclamation points away and just be, you coming in class, first of all, you late, because I already said the motto. So just come in here, pull out your journal. You don't need to come in here yelling like that. Doobie Wop. Hustle Girl 333 with the bangs and the long hair. On one side. Your, your profile is loud. Your profile picture is loud, Angel. And do you why? So everybody else I gotta squint, but yours is Yeah. Vanessa, why you keep trying to call me by my government? Does that make you feel like we connected or something like that? Is that what it is? I see a lot of so I see a lot of people using my government all of a sudden. Like I don't know, I don't know if that lets y'all be like, oh, you know, I know his government. You still don't know me. Not a question, but you really make a difference in my life in a way I can't explain. You really a big brother I never had. I love you, little sis. You know what I'm saying? I love you. I'm glad. Hmm. Cause we about to sue cuties. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I'm keeping this as evidence. Mm hmm. Because this is the second time they told me seedless, and I keep getting seeds. Now, yeah, we about to sue them as a group. <laughs> we just came up. What's the positive statement for the day? Welcome to the garden. Um, but yeah, I really love my loved ones that know what's popping and really, you know, understand that I'm in their corner. You feel me? If you fight against me, I'm, I'm going to do this. I'm a robot dope and roll with the punches like Balboa, but you know, you hit me a couple times, I'm gonna hit you hard, bro. And if you don't, if you don't understand what it is, then I'm gonna dust my hands and feet and just release. You know what I'm saying? Like, but I really love my loved ones, and, and everybody know my loved ones by now. You could come at me honestly. You don't have to, you know, for example, um, yeah, if you got the grapes, save them seeds. We're gonna sue them all together, loved one. We're gonna get this bread. You know what I'm saying? We definitely about to get this bread, but listen. I really mean it. I really mean it with my love because I know my love makes my loved ones hate me for a moment in time because they never have been around true love. And I'm not going to use that against them. I'm going to continue to punch them. Right when I see that they got it, bink, are you offended? Good. Bink, bink, until they learn how to do mirror me in a certain way. And then, you know, I move out the way and let the father have his way. But, um, yeah. You know, I, I really love my loved ones, the spiritual and strong, those that I meant to understand, and the Elohimians, the ones that are fine with being an Elohimian. And what I mean by that, I mean if somebody asks you what you are, you say an Elohimian. You don't, you don't try to fake gas me and, and act like you with me, and then you still be over there with those people. You're not my people. The ones that really be rocking with me, like if they throw a rock at me, they feel the pain from me. They don't pick no other rock up and throw it back. They just, they know black going to be okay, and, and they understand everything I do. For example... Uh, the ones that, you know, when I ask for music for my playlist, everybody just automatically assume, oh, let's give them some gospel music. See, those, those are the people that, and it's going to go into the topic for the day, those are the people that are still trying to understand me. You feel what I'm saying? They're still trying to gather the new thing underneath the sun. They feel like, oh, this is the... You know what I'm saying? Like, you, you're very... It, it gives me judgmental. See, my loved ones, if I said that, they're not going to get offended. 
they gonna be like, all right, I feel where you coming from. But the ones that ain't my loved one, they gonna get offended and try to explain themselves and so on and so forth. But it's like, you really, you, those are the ones that are still trying to drag me back to Christianity and back into the flesh mindset. You feel me? I know I gotta move through the flesh through the dimension. You know what I'm saying? Just like water gotta move through the bottle. But the, my loved ones really just accept me for who I am. You know what I'm saying? And I accept them for who they are. And we we vibe up. You know what I'm saying? And even if we go down, somebody said something like, you know, in the DMs, they was like, oh, we got to figure out why you like low vibrational music. I don't find that music to be low vibrational. I feel like it's a vibration. Um, it doesn't give me depression. It doesn't give me stress. It doesn't give me worry. It doesn't make me feel lesser than. It's... But because their mindset is a mindset, you know, I gotta, I, I gotta remember, you know, when I'm showing an angle of my diamond shine to people that have no shine, the only thing they can see is darkness. You feel what I'm saying? Glory be unto the Lord. Y'all don't know what I'm talking about. So have you ever opened your eyes, bright and you want to go back into the darkness? Then you understand what I'm saying. So even when you shining brightly, it's too much light, and I be forgetting. That's why I was talking about wet. You gotta, if you remember, it's social media. The goofies are able to sign up to social media and blend in and sit at our lunch tables and we can't say nothing. You know what I'm saying? Um, on Doobie Wop. And then some people don't have as much discipline as you, so they kind of figure out, like, how can you go so low and still have heaven with you? How can you go that low and still be sustained in your greatness and, and glory be unto the Lord? You feel me? It don't even bother me no more. I, be rem I, I just be having to remember. You know what I'm saying? I be having to remember. And that's all it is. That's all it is. Um, next question. Next question. Since they be playing with me, I just be playing back. That's all I'm saying, loved ones. If you don't know, you don't know. If you get it, you get it. If you don't, you don't. That's all I'm saying. You know, if they, they be playing with me, y'all. So I just be playing back. You know what I'm saying? They don't let me just praise my God and love my people. You feel me? So I just be playing sometimes. And if you don't, if you don't get it, you don't get it. Uh, you don't get it. You feel what I'm saying? That's all I'm saying. <laughs> I should start saying questions or testimonial. Okay, listen. I'll listen to you. I'll listen. Why you don't listen to me like that? You get it. You get it wet. You get it wet. Do you really get it? Do you really get it wet? Do you get it wet? Wet. Do you get it? Okay. Any more questions or answers? <laughs> Her profile name is wet. I don't know what y'all... Summer is upon us. <laughs> Why you ain't gonna play with me? What your parents say you can't play with me no more? Why? Why you can't play with me? Summer is upon us. Do we what? No more questions. Do we what? All right. Um, uh -huh. All right. So before I start this vibe, let me explain why I say about people using my personal name. When people use my personal name, that means you on personal time with me. You feel what I'm saying? So when people are calling me Davery, I expect respect to the spirit of Davery. You know what I'm saying? Black God, black God is a whole different entity. And, and it understands what it is. But Davery is the one that God protects. Davery is the one that God has called out of the darkness to live in the light of his day. Davery is the one that, you know what I'm saying? So when you're using that name, please understand how God treasures that name. 
Please understand that it's like, oh, you know, you wanna you wanna feel some type of way about that name, show respect to it. Cause when Davery feels offended, black comes, and then y'all see a different side. Then y'all gonna woo, and then everybody gonna be like, calm down. You think you dealing with Davery and you dealing with black, and then you dealing with the other legions that come with black guy. You feel me? And I ain't trying to be no, you know what I'm saying? I'm just trying to explain that I know what's up, and I just want people to respect what's up. You don't have to explain nothing to me. It's gonna be explained today. You feel me? But I treat everybody like an oracle. I treat everybody like a great angel. I treat everybody like the great thing that God sees them to be. So if you don't want me to call you by your government, I you know, give me your nickname or whatever the case may be. I might give you one just off the rip because you that cool. You know what I'm saying? But I see a lot of people trying to get away with it. And I see a lot of people trying to get away with things playing with me. Like, oh, did he fall for it? I'm, I'm going to act like I fall for it. And like I tell people all the time, I'm going to let you get enough rope. And then me, God, and the chariots and his angels and the creature, we're going to yank that thing right when you get it around your neck. You feel what I'm saying? And then doobies, you know. Question, are you going to make a music album? I made a couple of them. I want to show y'all that, that video, I Just Want to Dream. It was supposed to be a dream concept, but I know when y'all see booty meat, y'all automatically just, and it's not even that type of booty meat. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Little sis, you know what I'm saying? There's a lot of people that be that you would have to vibe with me personally. I don't mind you calling me Davey. All I'm saying is when you say that name, don't play with it. I could feel your spirit when people be playing with my name, Davey, because it does something to me. You know, when people be playing with the Ouija board, they be calling out to certain things. You know, when you text people and you calling out to that certain spirit, we'll talk about that another day. But all I'm saying is I know and God knows. So, that's all I'm saying. You had a right. You had a right. I would love you, but play with my name. Play with my spirit and the greatness that's attached to it. Play with the blessings that's waiting to be called by it. It's going to be a situation that you and God got to deal with. I really love my name. All threes of them. You feel me? Yeah. Let's sis. You know what I'm saying? So pretty. Like, it's what I'm just saying. Like, if you know what's up, you know what's up. You may want people to know your name and be careless with it, but... Cause I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna tell I give y'all a little gem. I'm not gonna drop it though, so you need to put your hands out. Everybody give me that, give me that emoji. You know, when the two hands together, I'm gonna I'm gonna drop, I'm gonna drop it right in your hands. You feel me? Cause I ain't gonna just spill this on the floor. They're like, oh, you be dropping gems. No, I be handing them out. So give me those hands right here and I'm gonna let y'all know something. So people could get out their feelings, cause I ain't even get into the truth yet. This is just like getting into the truth. Glory be to God. Okay. Okay, so pretty. It's kind of light, sis. It's kind of light, sis. You feel me? It's kind of light. Fire girl, I don't think you that dark, but hey, it is what it is. Vanessa, I just said don't explain it and look what you did. You making it about you. I'm explaining it to the group. You see what I'm saying? So I know you offended. Glory be unto the Lord. So, listen. You remember when they was like, speak your name? And they always want to be like, speak your name, demon. That's Hollywood. That's Hollywood. See, if you read the scripture, God said, I know you by name. Even when you didn't know me to be your God, I named you. Your parents did not name you. Your father named you. You understand what I'm saying? So when people find out your spiritual name that, that resides in this relic of time, in this dimension, in this reality, when they learn your name, they can also learn what spirits come with it. They can also learn what blessings come with it. They can also know the prophecy that will be fulfilled from it. Don't let me lose you. I told y'all, Monday and Friday be the highest level of juice. You feel me? Because that first part of the juice, you like, mm, 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 mm. and that last part, you savor it. It's Friday. So just listen to what I'm saying. So when you be letting people play with your name, your blessings also think that th you want them to play with them too. Listen. Listen. If you at the park and somebody calling your name and everybody start knowing your name, you're going to be like this. You ain't going to know where to go. That's how you get caught into the spirit of confusion. If that person, y'all not... Are y'all following what I'm saying? That's why I don't I don't play about my names. Any name that God has given me, repair the breach, that's a name. Some people think it's a title. No, it's a name. Greatness, that's my name. Peace, that's my name. Happiness, that's my name. You feel what I'm saying? Built to throw hands, that's my name. You feel what I'm saying? I don't I don't play about it no more. Because I I'm every day God said He gives you a new level of understanding. 
And if you guys are comfortable with people doing that, then your blessings are going to get comfortable getting called away from you to those people that are crawling away from you. You feel what I'm saying? Glory be on to the Lord. And it is what it is. I tell y'all all the time, man's going to come and go, but your God going to be with you forever. And if you sitting out here trying to tap dance for man and you giving away blessings and you doing whatever you doing to try to correlate people that can't even conquer over your course of challenges that you're meant to do because you're that great, then that's your fault. I keep explaining to people that I don't care. I only care for my father. I minister to my father and I do whatever. I don't need nobody to be like, oh, calm down. Like, no, this is for the truth. Because we're opening up, people. You are in, you were that seed that God has planted, and you're coming out of the dirt, and now you're opening up. And guess what they're gonna call you? Fruitful. I wanna say this before we even start. See, God knows you before you even show your fruit. He already has faith in you. See, they have hope in you. They don't know yet, but God already knows. He knows you're gonna be a great fruit processor a multiplied fruit processor. You understand me? That's why he protects you like he protects you. That's why he keeps his hand over you like he keeps his hand over you. That's why he makes sure the angels minister to you, the creatures that you don't even know are with you, and you're good in all his houses. See, these other people, you see how he had to protect the tree of um, tree of life after they've been to the tree of knowledge? See, that's what God's doing with you. He's protecting you. Because he knows if they eat into you, they're going to live forever. And I want some of these people to go ahead, get slay, slowed, and smited. You feel me? So if they eat from you, they're going to live forever. And I don't want that. And that's why I constantly keep giving you a different name. That's why I constantly keep moving you. That's why I constantly keep uprooting you and replanting you. That's why I keep you closer to me. That's why I tell you to speak to me. And, okay. Okay. So if anybody's offended, they offended. Glory be unto the Lord. And we're going to get into it. And we're gonna see the sense in it. I don't I don't do apologies no more. You apologize by the way you change your actions. You feel what I'm saying? I don't wanna hear the word no more. I wanna see it. Cause you can make the word flesh. So you don't have to tell me you sorry. Show me in your actions and I know what's up. I feel it in your spirit and I know what's up. Pay your dues and we'll be cool. Elohim over everything. Now watch this. I need my three juices in a hand clap. I need my I need my three juices in the hand clap. On oh, Elohim, when you learn what's up, you know what's up. I said, hold on. I thought we were gonna pop my knee loud, man. That knee be popping sometimes, man. I love the way. Now watch. Three juices and a hand clap. When you keep it real. Lies can't reside. When you keep it real with you, lies can't reside. When you live in your truth, the lie can't get through. Write that down. Little sis, write that down. See, she said she, I'm a big brother. She said, now I can be on her neck and she can't say nothing. You see what I'm saying? That's how it works. That's why I tell my loved one, don't call me family unless you really need your family to be called on. And I'm going to pull up for real. I might really just knock on your door like, hello. Uh, 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 what you doing? Are we family now? You ain't got my blow up mattress ready? What's in this? What's in this fridge? Glory be unto the Lord. Don't do it to me. Cause I'm spontaneous like that. I just be pulling up to people. I did it to my mama before she passed away. Don't say nothing. But you know, she was like, oh boy, what you doing? I was like, damn, mama, you ain't happy to see me. No, you need a call first. Glory, unlock this gate, mama. I don't have the keys to the gate. Unlock the gate. You fit? She was like, no, don't, don't be doing that. I ain't have my, I ain't have my wig on or nothing. Doobie wah. Here we go. This is in 1 Samuels. Everybody say 1 Samuels because some people be like, what he said? His signal bad. See, Ja don't be hitting the screen. That's what I'm saying. I can't get this dude a job for nothing, bro. Oh, my God, bro. I just be asking. Nah, Elizabeth, because I said you trying to rob me, man. You was trying to ask. You, you going to try to rob me if I come over there. I don't want to get beat up, man. I don't want no smoke with nobody, bro. It's all right, bro. I got it. Don't worry about it. Everybody say first time. Okay. Then we're going to say chapter 16. We're going to work as a group. This is the good class. This is the first period. Y'all good. Your first period, y'all got the energy to get it done. First Samuel chapter 16. And there's a few things I need y'all to see when we read this, okay? The topic, image, ain't got nothing to do with the heart. 
Sometimes the image is just the decoy. Sometimes people want to have a rah rah image and they and they sweeter than a pussy cat and some chow meat. You feel what I'm saying? You feel what I'm saying? Some people got the image, but they softer than charming. You know what I'm saying? Like, and then somebody that looks soft got the heart of a lion. Glory be unto the Lord. A honey badger. Glory be unto the Lord. A gargoyle. Glory be unto the Lord. You feel what I'm saying? Hawk. Glory be unto the Lord. Jacqueline High. Glory be unto the Lord. Okay. Now, as the Lord said to Samuel, how long will you mourn for Saul, seeing I have rejected him from reigning over Israel? Now, before we get into the image, I just need to let y'all know that God has rejected some people out your life, and you're crying and you're mourning about them. Why? God rejected them. For whatever reason, he wanted to respect it, love. You understand what I'm saying? He said, how long are you going to mourn? And guess what? God going to say, let me know, because I'm going to stop your clock, because you got everlasting life. So if you want to waste a whole light year, just let me know so I can pause the clock. Because I don't even want this sorrow to go into your success and happiness. So if you need a year, I'm going to stop your clock for a year. No, we're going to stop everything. We ain't going to give you no blessings. We ain't giving you no happiness. We ain't giving you no joy because you ain't about to be misery to them. So we're going to stop everything until you're ready to get back on your saddle boat. You feel what I'm saying? Glory be unto the Lord. So just remember that. And he said, fill your horn with oil and go. I am sending you to Jesse the Bethlehemite, for I have provided myself a king among his sons. I, for I have provided myself a king among his sons. I have provided myself a king amongst his light. Let's slow it down and let's listen. Okay? There are people that God is sending towards your people to get you away from those people that are no longer your people because God calls you his own. Elohim, the juice is already flooding in your canoe. Don't panic, loved one. Just start rolling your boat slowly, okay? You're not going to drown. I'm not going to let it happen. So he's sending people around to pull people in and push people out. Pull people in and push people out. Say, Father, pull me in. Everybody just say, Father, pull me in. Glory be unto the Lord. Okay, then. Now that you said it, you believe it. It has to be done because his word does not come back void. And he said, when you pull me in, never let me go. His word will not come back void. He will never let you go. Hold my mighty hand to your mighty hand because I am you. You are me. Your strength is mine and your strength is your strength is mine and my strength is yours. Glory be unto the Lord. You should never ever grow weak, a week again in your everlasting life. I'm helping y'all. Glory be unto the Lord. Do be wild. He's, and Samuel said, how can I go? If Saul hears it, he will kill me. But the Lord said, take a heifer with you and say, I have come to sacrifice to the Lord. Now, Y'all see this, the flesh is scared. Not the spirit of Samuel, the flesh. The flesh. He's not hearing. See, sometimes when we get in pain, we're not hearing God clearly. Because in the beginning of this verse, God said, how long will you mourn that I have rejected Saul from being king over Israel? For reigning over Israel, excuse me. He didn't hear that because he's still sad. God rejected him. You're with God. God told you to do something. And Samuel questioned him. And Samuel is one of God's favorite. Let's, let's, let's keep that clear. Please, let's keep that clear. But did God rebuke him? Did God get mad? Mm -mm. He said, how can I go? If you hear about this, he'll kill me. God ain't even tripping because he know how the flesh gets sometimes. He said, take a heifer with you. Slow it down, black. See, because of your fear, you're taking extra things on a journey. That would have been successful if you just had faith. Glory be unto the Lord. I'm going to talk slow for the ones that ain't got their radio up. Glory be unto the Lord. You're taking extra things because your fear is making, a, a, is making it hard for you and God knows that. Okay, so take a heifer with you. Since you just, if you don't believe that I have just made a clear way for you to go and you could use my name that is more greater than Saul's, all, man, y'all not hear me. We say there's power in his name, but then God brings somebody lesser up and you say, oh, I don't, I don't know. He might, he may, he may do something. What, what is he going to do that I can't? Do you really think I will get you slayed when you working for my glory's sake? Do you really think I will allow anything that is not of me? I just rejected this thing. Why would I let that thing that I rejected enter into your life? Come on, people. Come on, loved ones. But this is why God doesn't want us to be in sorrows, because it knocks out all the wisdom and the knowledge and the power that you're supposed to be living in. And see, when you start living in that power and God say, oh, you don't need a heifer? No, because if he touched me, I'm going to call you and you're going to slay him. You're going to do more than just reject him. You're going to slay him, slew him and smite him. I'm not worrying about nothing. I'm not about to make these roads harder than what they need to be. 
If my God told me to go, I'm going. I'm not explaining nothing to nobody. I'm packing up and I'm saddling out and I'm filling my horn up with the oil and I'm going to see Jesse. Hey, Jesse. Glory be on to the Lord. I don't care who finds out what I'm doing with my God. Do you know you got rejected from my Lord? Do you really? And I was crying tears behind you. Do you know what God will do to you when you hurt somebody that has a pure heart that was shedding tears behind you and then you come over here trying to hurt? So let's carry on. Trust your Lord. When God say go, go. Don't make it hard. Don't make it hard. Don't go to your God that you're supposed to have faith in and bring him fear. All he going to do is say, here, take that burden with you. Yep, now you've just made it an extra step. Go, go for it. Go for it. And tell him, the one that you fear over me, that you're going to sacrifice. Glory be on to the Lord. <laughs> then invite Jesse to the sacrifice and I will show you what you shall do. You shall, anoint, you shall anoint for me the one I have named to you. The one that I have named to you. Now listen. Now listen. Listen, God didn't even take a, he didn't scratch his head. He didn't go, you know what? Ah, now that you're scared, give me another day. God already had a plan B if you don't want to go with his plan A. Oh my God, here we go. The juice for your canoe. There was no pause break. He didn't say go back and come three days and let me tell you something. God already had, you don't want plan A, we'll go with plan B. You don't want plan B, we're going to plan C. Now every letter you get comes with a burden. Go with plan A. Go, go with plan A. I don't care if you're afraid. God going to say you're fearful only for right now, but I'm going to go read about Joshua when you told him to be brave and courageous only and don't fear nobody that, okay, glory be unto the Lord. Even though I'm, even though I'm afraid, you are with me. I'm not taking no burdens. I'm always going with plan A. Get them out the way, black shirt. Sure. Hey, you got to go. Um, can I explain? You got to go. I'm not, I'm not about to be afraid when God tell me to do what I got to do. I got to go. Where you going? I got to go. I'll see you in November, maybe. I don't even know if he going to let me come back. I, I got to go, though. I got to do this. Glory be on to the Lord, man. Glory be on to the Lord. Glory be on to the Lord. So Samuel did what the Lord said and went to Bethlehem. And the elders of the town trembled. Now I need y'all to hear this. You got your, you got your canoe, canoe. Why you going hey, if you near a wall, listen. If you near a wall, stand up. If you're not near a wall, stand up. Stand up. Find you a wall, because you're gonna hit your head on the wall just a little bit. Watch. So Samuel did what the Lord said and went to Bethlehem. And the elders of the town trembled at his coming and said, Do you come peaceably? Do you come peaceably? They trembled at his coming. Y'all don't believe how powerful God has made you. You're still doubting how powerful God has made you amongst these nations that only know your name. And then when they see your image, they start to tremble. Y'all not hearing what I'm saying. See, Sam, see, see, Samuel felt some type of way about Saul, but God said, I rejected Saul. And you crying about Saul. And you don't even know how much I loved you that even the place that you went and never been to, they're already ready to tremble like booty meat. Y'all don't understand how powerful God made you. Y'all, I feel weak, baby. How long are you going to mourn? If you just go with my plan A and I get you to the destination that you want to get to, and as you get to that location, watch how people tremble when you walk in the room. Watch how people put their head down when you get up in there. Watch how when they looking at you and then you look at them, they cut their eyes. Everybody done been in that situation who powerful. Anybody that has an anointing on their life, you be vibing and then your spirit just be like, look left. And you look left and somebody dead, dead deer looking at you. And then when they catch on, they, what are you, what are you afraid for? So I'm going to read it again, loved ones. I'm going to read it again. So Samuel did what the Lord said and went to Bethlehem, and the elders of the town trembled at his coming and said, do you come peaceably? Now, what if Samuel said? No. Y'all already trembling, and you're praying and having hope that I'm coming with peace. Y'all just know I'm connected to the Lord. Y'all know that I've been with the Lord since the baby baby. Y'all understand that what type of character I have for the Lord and that I don't tolerate disrespect of the Lord. 
And then, I, then I'm the person that sends the message out, if God going to slay you. He told Saul. He done told Eli. Now the elders are trembling. Why are you trembling, though? Here we go. Here we go. Why do people tremble? I'll break it down to you. And this is the truth. And this may be the part where you're going to need me to get on DoorDash and send you some get well balloons and open and call the nearest hospital to come pick you up with the ambulance. Why are the elders trembling? Because they know they've been doing something in the dark and they feel like God is about to expose them. People come around trembling because they know they got a lie within them and they think, oh, did they find out? Do they know? I know how connected they are with the Lord, but do they know? Glory be on to the Lord. I ain't even here for that. What you snitching for? Why are you telling on yourself? I ain't got time for that. God trying to find a new king. Are y'all following what I'm saying? Some people tell on themselves without you having to even say nothing because they just assume, oh, God coming to get a reckoning. No, God trying to find a new, a, a new king. You shaking like booty meat. We ain't even need no harlots right now and no strippers like that. Ain't no dancing going on. But see, this is where a pure-hearted person is going to say, you good. You good. You good. The father's too busy creating a new Jerusalem. The guy, the, the guy that you was playing with ain't even worried about how you were playing because he's too busy blotting people out of the book of life. You still got chance. You still have time. You still have time to correct where you know you went wrong before God comes and say, hey, remember that time you were shaking like boobie? Yeah, I'm here to collect. Y'all not hearing nothing I'm saying, man. Y'all not hearing it. If you did, I'm, I'm sorry. He said, peaceably, I have come to sacrifice to the Lord. Sanctify yourselves and come with me to the sacrifice. Sanctify yourselves. Imagine how they were in that shower. <laughs> My God, I thought he was going to slay us. Because they heard the stories. They know how Eli got cut off and his sons. And the ones that played with him underneath the sun in the wilderness. They thought they were next. See, some of y'all are destroyers and don't even know that that's what's on your resume because God never called you by your holy name. But these spirits that live within these vessels know how capable you are to do something without even budging. Glory be unto the Lord. Glory be unto the Lord. And when you get into that conscious mind, you're not worrying about how people coming and going and doing what they're doing. You're just worrying about living in your salvation, chilling with your peace in your paradise, establishing great things with your exotic energy. You understand what I'm saying? You don't have time to worry about who, who lying to you. I'm too busy creating something great. Just fix that within you before I get done. Make sure before I put this doorknob on this door, you change yourself before. Because when I start handing out keys and you like, Black, what about me? <laughs> Let's talk about this over here. Yeah, can you take your shoes off too? Thank you. Let's talk about this over here. Don't be afraid. Doobie Wop. Op saying on an Ubi snot. They sanctified themselves. So it was when they came that he looked. Certainly the Lord has anointed before him. He talked about um, Elaba. Ella, I'm not about to play with these names. Big E. Okay, and he says, surely the Lord's anointing is before him. He said, surely. He was confident. He was confident. I'm about to break some hearts today, but God going to heal you. Take the less, little energy left and crawl down to your God. I'm going to give you time to get close to God so you ain't got to crawl that far. Your feelings about to get hurt. Glory be unto the Lord. He says, surely the Lord's anointing is before him. But the Lord said to Samuel, do not look at his appearance or at his physical stature because I have refused him. Imagine how hurt Samuel probably felt in that time. No, got him. No, you don't. Sam Samuel, calm down. You still in your emotions. <laughs> See, some of y'all think y'all found, found my love in my life. No, it ain't. <laughs> feelings hurt. Wish your speedy recovery. I found my soul, mate. Mm -mm. They finna suck the soul out you. I have refused them. Glory be unto the Lord. Don't get mad at your loved one. Don't get mad at me, loved one. Don't leave the live now. It's finna get juicy. Surely I done found a man in my dreams. Baby, give it a few hours. It's gonna be a nightmare. <laughs> hey, on Elohim. Glory be unto the Lord. 
You so quick because you see the stature of that man and so on and so forth. But give it time. See, we don't never want to give things time. I got time to give it time. What happened, Black? What happened? God refused you. <laughs> oh, I'm good with God. I know, but you're just not good with me, baby. Carry on. Carry on. You got something against me in your heart. That's why God refused you. You didn't hear the prayer I told the Lord. There's no smoke between us. Are you understand what I'm saying? There's no smoke. I'm just letting you know the truth. I don't want to waste your time. We could play games, but you're gonna get then you're gonna start saying I done brought the devil to your playground. No. He refused me then. It ain't you, it's me. Yeah, he refused me. I don't care. As long as I can keep you in a hole and not break you down in pieces, I don't care what it is, as long as the truth can be accepted. Loved ones, stop looking at the appearance of people. Oop, that's my pastor. And then you see him on CNN for whatever he did in his kin. They got a lot of them going to jail right now. I just be sitting over here like, my God, it's dangerous outside. Father, stay with me. I be grabbing my pearls. Father, they sweep, they feeding the swine. <laughs> like, all these people that, ooh, they good. Oh, uh, look at them pulling up on CNN. Fox News. Trial dates back to back. That's why I don't want nobody to look at my appearance. Check my spirit, baby. Take your time discerning it. Look at my actions. Don't look at my words only. Look at my actions. I know why people can't trust me because you've been dealing with treachery before you came into the spirit of trust and you still got that residue on you. Ain't got nothing to do with me. But put me together. Compare me to whoever you thought was better and you're going to see greater in me than you did in them. No cap. Take it off, drink it. Let it hit the back. Let it hit the back. Let it bubble up before you let it swallow. You feel me? Glory be on to the Lord. There's a lot of people out here with the image, but their heart is so sour, man. There's a lot of people out here playing with people's strings of their hearts, and people are falling for it. And I just be like, now I see why Jesus wept for the nations. Now I see why God felt some type of way. They're doing it on purpose. Glory be on to the Lord, man. You're keep... Talk about that later. Stay on so Jesse called the next one, made him pass before Samuel, and he said, neither has the Lord chose this one. It only took one time, people. See, when you really got a heart for the Lord and you don't mind his rod and his staff comforting you and you don't mind when God corrects you, it only takes one time. Now you know what God is looking for. And you'll never take your eye off that judgment. You will never mess up that scale again. Everything will remain balanced. Y'all not hearing what I'm saying? It only takes one time, baby. When you really love somebody, you only got to tell them once. They, on, they only got to correct it once. And then you leave it in the spirit about what was corrected. Nobody even got to know. God didn't choose you neither. God didn't choose you neither. Man. See, most people don't want you to fix it the first time. They still want to benefit off your off your off your disobedience. They still want to they still want to benefit off your non-disciplined self. One time, one time. That's why I said, little sis, testimony sometimes gets you slayed up too. Sometimes, little sis, testimonies get you slayed up too. That's why I don't really like talking about my testimony and having people talk about their testimony because you got to understand who's in the room. Sometimes it flies on the wall. Or do the one to flow. You know what I'm saying? Or things in certain certain vessels that are equated faithfully in their wickedness and are waiting for you to expose something so they can get you to mess up again and try to get you cut off like God cut Saul off. You understand what I'm saying? See, Saul was supposed to correct it the first time. He didn't. God gave him a second. God said, you know what? Hey, Samuel, I'm done with him. Because he keep making the same mistakes. He's not correcting it the first time I hit him on the back of his head. He's, he's doing more than just questioning me. He's thinking that I, he's better than me. Doobies. Doobie wops. All the drops.
Okay? And then he said, neither has the Lord chosen him. Then Jesse said, pass by. And he said, neither has the Lord chosen you. Then Jesse, Jesse made seven of his sons pass before Samuel. And Samuel said to Jesse, the Lord has not chosen these. And Samuel said to Jesse, are all the young men here? Then he said, there remains yet the youngest. And there is he keeping the sheep. And Samuel said to Jesse, send and bring him. For we will not sit down till he comes here. Now, this may be the hard part for y'all. So I need you to sit down, but rise in spirit. Your family know God called you. I keep trying to tell y'all this. They know God has came to the house to collect his fruit that he called for himself. But they don't want you to go. They're trying to give the lesser thans up to the Lord. To keep the golden goose in the house. I'm trying to tell y'all the juice, man. I'm trying to tell y'all the juice, man. And then when God gets you to remove yourself automatically, where you going? Who you going with? Who you dealing with? You sure that's God? I don't know. But they know God came with many different people coming into the house looking for you. And they hid you like Harry Potter underneath the stairs. They always sent you to the room. They always, look at your life. Look at your life. Because they know certain things. And they know the certain hour. And they know the prophecy. Go to your room. Grown folks going to be talking. Where the babies at? Then the lab, before they leave, here all y'all come out and everybody give you a hug. Look at your parents. Play it back in your head and look how your parents were looking. Oh, I like this one. And you wonder why your heart, your life was the hardest? You wonder why God was with you more than anybody else in your family tree? Just like he was with David. Why am I fighting the bears and the lions and the tigers? Why am I out here guarding the sheep? See, even though they thought they were pulling you away from God, they were actually pushing you closer. Because the more that they gave God restraint, that gave God more room to do what he did with you. Oh, so you don't want... Okay, cool. I'm just going to turn them up from over there. Y'all think y'all getting cast out. No, you getting pushed in. They're casting you exactly where God needs you to be to learn a lesson to overcome those people that didn't want to teach you and show you the righteous way to the Lord. I'm going to get to it, people. It's all going to make sense. They knew you didn't have the appearance. They knew you had the heart God was looking for. But they wanted God to settle for the appearance. The appearance. He over here. Now he mad. Damn. Damn. Glory be on to the Lord. He over here. He said, so he went and brought him in. Now he was rugged and with, with bright eyes and good looking. And the Lord said, arise, anoint him for this is the one. Then Samuel took the horn of oil, anointed him in the midst of his brothers. And the spirit of the Lord came upon David from the day forward. So Samuel rose and went to Ramah. God's been with you since you were a baby. But they still didn't want to let you know. David probably didn't even understand what was going on. David probably felt something change within him, but he still didn't understand what was going on. There was something when he became a king and a lady came and said, David, you're smarter than what you think. And there's something within you that can tell you what's taking place and who's deceiving you and who's really your friend, David. And I'm going to let you say who you think it is. See, there's people that came into your life that anointed you without knowing you were being anointed. And it changed your life. And it opened your third eye. Or it opened your penal gland. Or it opened your mind. Whatever one you want to go with. And you started seeing things. The, the, the same things that you automatically seen when you were born into this matrix or pushed into this matrix. And they tried closing your eyes to it. God came and reopened it. And then that's when everybody started acting funny with you. Or saying that you're crazy. You started seeing the creatures that God has created. The angels that walk with you day in and day out. Glory be on to the Lord. But you didn't know nothing. 
Then you go where God tell you to go without no rebuttal, without no without no talk back. And then people say, oh, look how they living. They ain't with God. Ah, ah, ah. But the whole time you with God, learning, studying, training, strengthening, glory. Glory be all to God. And they were trying to stop it. But trying to play it off as if they see a lot of people know your God name, but they don't want to. They don't want to praise Him like God wants to be praised. That, I'm not. I'm not even gonna get on that. We are gonna carry on. We are gonna carry on. We we'll talk about that another time if God wants that to be. So, but the spirit of the Lord departed from Saul. A distressing spirit from the Lord troubled him. And Saul's so servant said to him, Surely a distressing spirit from God is troubling you. Let our master now command our servants who are before you to seek out a man who is skillful player on the harp. Music. It's crazy how God works. Glory be unto the Lord. Now listen. Music. There's certain things that call certain spirits because it depends on what spirit you're in. If you're in trouble spirit, you need a certain thing. If you have a high spirit, you need a certain thing. Glory be to the Lord. You got a motivating spirit, you need a certain thing playing. Glory be unto the Lord. Now listen. God snatched that spirit out of Saul and put it in David because you can't serve two masters. So if you care about the appearance and the prophet's reward, God going to give you that and then he going to snatch that spirit back and put it in somebody that really cares for the Lord's heart and ministry. And they going to feel it. And because they felt it, follow me, loved ones, because they felt it and they live with it, and they're still tethered to it in some shape or form, whatever way. They know exactly where that spirit laid. They know exactly who that spirit is in now. Come on, man. Don't let me lose you right now, loved ones. There's so much juice. So they seek you out. And they try to get you to fall. And they try to get you to be disobedient. And they try to do something so that God can snatch that away from you and put it back in them. And that's why. They go to and fro like a roaring lion trying to find the elect to devour. Why? Because if I mess you up, I could take your crown, I could take your heart, and I could take your blessings to the Lord and say, see, now you got to give me that spirit. They did the same thing that I did, and you cut me off. Yeah, you may have favor, and because you have favor, God knows for sure that he wrote the truth on the tablets of your heart, and you just blatantly was being disobedient. It's a game, people. And when you understand the rules of the game, you will always win. You will always be victorious. Victorious. Stay with your God. Once you get with God, just stay with God and live your life. Because these people trying to get that spirit that God jacked out of their vessel and put in yours. And see, he's not just putting one. He said, I'm going to pour my whole spirit out. on Glory be unto the Lord. So I'm snatching it out of you and I'm putting it in multiplied. Because we're forgetting anything God touched multiplies. Anything you touch multiplies. So the minute that it touches your, man, y'all don't let me use you, lose you. It multiplies. Especially when you're, when you're everything that God wanted you to be. It's going to multiply more than it was in them. And now when they get it back, it's multiplying. And they're greater. Y'all ever see the movie? Y'all seen the movie. Y'all seen when Hawk was out there banging on people. He couldn't bang on Thanos. He couldn't bang on that note. But even in, in Hawk's own segment, they created a bigger thing, bigger than Hawk. See, every time you grow in faith, loved ones, wickedness grows too because it's watching you. It's watching you. That's why God says, speak in spirit, and you'll just start to blossom. You'll start to blossom, and then they'll stay just a plant because you're not teaching them no more. That's why I say, don't let the law depart from your, from your mouth. Stop doing that. Because you're not just teaching the people that are like you. You're teaching the ones that don't like you. Ain't going to try to mimic you. And that's the truth. And you don't even need to be afraid because God is still with you. Now let me carry on and show y'all something. And do me why? Uh -uh, me Matthew 23. Matthew 23. Then Jesus spoke to the multitude and his disciples, saying, The scribes and the Pharisees sit in Moses' seat. Therefore, whatever they tell you, observe that observe and do, but do not do according to their works. Hmm. For they say and do not do. See, there's a lot of people out here talking about glory be unto the Lord. 
Is it really glory beyond to the Lord? Why are you asking me to give you 10% of mine? Where are your 10% going? No, you can see me actually putting mine in the offering plate, but I don't see you doing that. I'm still driving around in a bucket, but I've been going to this church for 20 plus years. You got a, you got a private jet now. You got a mansion in the Hamptons now. I'm, I thought we were all one mind, one body, one soul in here. Why you got? No, I'm telling y'all the truth. And your, and your Lord Jesus said the same thing. Respect what they saying, but don't do what they do. Because they ain't even doing it. They telling y'all to do it, but they not doing it. That's why you feel like God is not with you. That's why you never see your increase. So I'm going to get to the point of it. And then there's no way that nobody could get away from this juice. For they bind heavy burdens and hard to bear, and they lay them on men's shoulder, but they themselves will not move them with one of their fingers. These people are putting burdens on you. They know you're God's sin. They know you've been faithful. They never exposed how much faith was in you, just like Jesse didn't expose that David was in the sheep den when he, did, when he clearly said, get all your children. Why you left David in the sheep den? You knew what I was coming here for. When I asked for one of your sons, why didn't you just bring all your sons? See how people be trying to play technical? You see how people be trying to play with the strings of your heart? I'm here to tell my loved ones, you are the greatest form that God has ever made. You are perfected in all, in all ways. You can ask and you shall receive it the minute that you think about it and believe it. I'm not going to lie to you because your faith is for you. I got my own, baby. And if God could provide you with a hundred, then I know he could provide me with a thousand. If God can provide me with a thousand, then he could provide me with 10,000. I don't need your dollar. But if you give me a dollar, I got to give you 10. If you give me something that I got to give you to something because you are my friend and you are used to be a foreigner, but now I got to call you fam. Are you understand what I'm saying, little sis? That's why when people are like, oh, are you really doing this, bro? Who giving you a hoodie for $4.99, bro? Are they giving you anything out that collection plate? Are they even trying to give you a one-on-one -on -one session and really rock with you and run with you to your God? Are they tapping in with you to make sure you don't tap out and throw in that white towel because they know that the glory that lives within you, God needs for his angels and for himself? How hard are they really trying to go with you? No, they're the ones putting you through that hardship and putting a, putting a crack on the side before you even hit the iceberg so you can fall and then make it look like, oh, they got the Jezebel spirit, baby. Not you. Not the angels that's meant to protect you. They know the raven's coming to feed you. So they're trying to shoot the raven out the air, take the food out the raven's mouth, and then say, hey, just so they could steal your faith. Just so they could take what God has given you. If you say you're healed and believe it, because God said anybody that believes in me, no disease shall come over them, then what the pastor for? What's the pastor for? I'm hearing my carpet talk right now. That's how quiet it is right now. You are already blessed. You are already in salvation, and I say it so many times. But when you unify with one mind, one body, one soul, and everybody's good to go, then everybody should be able to get a PJ. Or everybody should have accommodated money to get on Frontier or Spirit. Don't let me lose you, love. Oh, we're taking care of them. No, you're not taking care of them. We taking care of them. But you're not letting me get the stocks. They're coming at your door and saying, we like what you're doing with the people. Keep doing it. We like how you talking in falsified truth and making them believe it. Keep doing it. Your wickedness is so anointing. You're doing it at a greater level. And they smile in your face. These backstabbers. I feel like I'm under attack. Oh, you got to give more. No, baby. You are that great fruit attached to the true vine. Once you understand that, you should be good to go. Once they tell you you are... Connected to the true vine, you should be good to go. Yes or no, loved ones? To the spiritual strong, those are meant to understand the Elohimians. Okay then. Okay then. Did Jesus pray over everybody? 
Or did these people that didn't believe that he was the body sent by the most high God made into the, made into the flesh ask for a prayer? Because they didn't have that much faith because we understand through Jesus that he said, ye of little faith. So if I look at my loved one and my loved one looking at me and I receive them and they receive me, I say, you good to go. How do you know? Because you're standing where I'm at and I know where I'm at is holy ground. How I'm living, I know God is with me. And God don't bring nobody over here that's not willing to change that has already been transformed to understand we are greater than Optimus Prime and the greatest prime ever known. Are you understand what I'm saying? I can stop you from going into the church house. Why? Because you may be the rock that God's going to use for his new church. You may be the stone that he's going to use for his king. You may be the star that he's going to put in heaven to minister over the little stars and the little specks of life. To be a judge over something greater. Why would I want to stop you from being great? Why would I want you to do what Saul did and take the long, I mean Samuel did, and take the long route? Nah. I'm going to remind you that God has something greater for you. And then it's you mourning about something that God had to reject to make room for you because they were trying to reject the anointing that he was trying to put over your life. This always happened. It always happens. Every time the number go up, y'all like, I ain't tripping on that no more. I don't even care about that no more. And when you stop caring about man and you start clapping your hands and stomping your feet like Paul and you understand the game, you say, yeah, I'm greater than them. They tremble when they see me coming because they know who really with me. And they're going to ask me, are you coming in peace or are you coming with war? What did Jesus say? They didn't believe in Jesus, so they didn't tremble. But if they knew who was really riding within Jesus, they definitely would have asked him the same thing they asked Samuel. Are you coming with peace or are you coming with war? And because they never asked, he had to say it for himself. I didn't come to bring peace, but I came to bring war. My God, how God be shaking the table up. They don't know how to stay what's up with God. They don't know how to stay what's up with God. They got to talk to God through you because they can't say what's up to God. And they don't care to say what's up with God because they're the descendants of the same people that didn't want to touch that mountain. If I, was with, if, if, if I was with Moses and I had this level of understanding and I'm walking towards the mountain and Moses say, don't touch it or you shall die. I almost died in Egypt, Moses. You said this is my God, right? I want to see my God face to face because I'm jealous that you was able to be up in them clouds and I was down here with these rose demons while they was frolicking and tap dancing around this motor cab. I want to see my God. I don't even want to live next to these people. If you say he got a paradise up there and this is just a promised land, but there's a paradise, there's two different things. I don't want just a promised land. I want a paradise. I'm tired of gambling with my life. I'm touching the mountain, Moses. What you think God would say if he seen you come walking? Oh, come touch the mountain, you're going to die. That's fine, Father. I'll still be with you. And I'll be more around righteousness and I won't even have to battle with this darkness. I won't even have to battle with this wickedness. I won't even have to sway away from evil. They're not teaching that. They're not explaining that. They don't want to expose you to that. But the Spirit of Christ said through Jesus that you must die and rise again and touch the mountain, loved one. <laughs> Get you a new mind, a new body, and a new spirit. Get you a new image. Get an appearance that matches your heart that you have for the Lord. That most people will look at and call you a creature, a demon, a server of ball. But you know in your heart what it truly is. Touch the mountain. New title. Touch the mountain. Glory be on to the Lord. And I'm going to keep going forward because I need y'all to understand this. But all the works they do are seen by men. They make it public and enlarge the borders of their garments. They love the best places at the feast, the best seats in the synagogue, getting in the marketplace and being called by men, rabbi, rabbi. But you do not be called rabbi. Do not be called rabbi. They get mad at me when I don't like that title. They get mad at me when I don't want to be called a prophet. They get mad at me when I don't want to be called what they want to label me. For one is your teacher, the spirit of Christ, and you are all brethren. See, when we listen to the spirit of Christ speak through Jesus, and we believe because we're meant to believe like Samuel was, like David was, Joseph, Ruth, Deborah, 
It's easy. I'm not going to judge you because I'm judging myself. We are all brothers. And if we are all brothers, then we're all from the same father. And if we're all from the same father, then we all hold the same spiritual gifts. So it don't matter who talks, greatness shall reside. Are you following what I'm saying? I don't need you to go stand still, trust your Lord like I trust the Lord, and watch what God do for the both of us because we're both being obedient. They say where one or two are gathered, the Father will be in the midst. No, where one or two are gathered, God will be in the middle of. Well, one or two true believers are gathered. God will come down and be in the middle of it. Just like there was three that went up that mountain and were gathered. And Elijah showed up. Moses showed up. Glory be unto the Lord. Transformations took place. If you're with a true believer, you're going to automatically transform. You're going to feel something happen in your body, in your image, in your light. It's going to automatically happen. Because God's trying to get up in there. Just like when all those brethren that were on the same page, even though they were locked up, God said, I got to break you out. Glory be unto the Lord, man. Do not call anyone on your earth father. Don't you disrespect yo? That ain't my daddy. Do not call anyone on earth your father. For one is your father. He is he who is in heaven. Some people still can't handle that. Do not be do not be called teachers, for one is your teacher, the Christ, once again. But he who is greatest among you shall be your servant. So if y'all sitting in Moses' seat, why y'all not serving us? At least why you not serving us the faith? Why are you not matching what I have? If I have one apple, you should be able to give me two because you're greater than me. And then you're going to show me the teacher in heaven that is blessing you to do this for me. And then I'll become like you and we'll really conform. And now we have more apples to give to the other person that comes with none. Mm. Glory be unto the Lord, man. It's all right. God's doing a new thing. You ain't got to you ain't got to fight no battles. You ain't got to do whatever. Just just listen to the words that I'm saying and you're going to be OK, loved one. The greater light serves the less light. People be like, Black, why do you serve people when they come in your house? Why do you cook for them? Why do you go out your way for them? Why do you accommodate them so much? Because I'm the greater light. It's my job. And when they get with me and they see what I do for them, when they go amongst other people that God sends them to be around, they're going to do the same thing I did for them for those people, and then a domino effect happens. Now, greatness is, is, is seen over the wars that man wants you to be, be perceived uh, inside of so it, could, so it could happen inside here too. That's why I get up early and I do what I got to do to make sure I can accommodate those people that don't know what to do. And I could turn them and say, walk. You coming? No, I'm not coming. You going to run into God. I got to get back over here. But black, nope, you're God. His rod and his staff will comfort you. Carry on. And when he teaches you and you grow greater, come on back, loved one. And let's glorify the Lord in our testimonies, little sis, amongst unity and fellowship of one mind, one body, and one soul. We don't need to make a believer. We need to be with the people that God already made believe in him. And we all walk up to each other eating apples, grapes, strawberries, blueberries. Well, I like oranges, whatever. Just understand what I'm saying. Because you're running into people along the way. And they say, oh, well, I, I'm a believer too. Where your apples at? Huh? Why your basket empty? <laughs> God opened the heavens over my house and he allowed my house to get consumed by it. And he said he will not stop it. Why is your basket empty? Are you a true believer or are you just believing because there's blessings to come from it? Yeah, yeah, yeah nah, I'm cool. Here go one apple, but that's all I'm giving. No, you, before you come with me, run back to God. Yeah, run, run to God. Where is he? Huh. Glory. Glory. Wouldn't you like to know? Go into your wilderness of sin and do what they did when they got called out. I'll see you whenever God wants me to see you. And whoever exalts himself will be humbled, and he who humbles himself will be exalted. I did this. I did that. Whoop de wop on the Ubi sign. Uh huh. Black, you so great. No, Black, you need to, you really need to. All that you're doing, glory be unto the Lord. 
No, I'm saying, though, I know you don't want to hear this. I don't. If you know I don't want to hear it, why are you saying it? There's only one good true shepherd, and that's the Father. I could be a true shepherd underneath the Father, but the Father getting the glory. I don't want nobody to worship me. We already done did that for many decades. Worship within, loved one. Be proud of yourself. Look at your greatness to be able to see the greatness within me. You understand? Are you following what I'm saying? I'm being, I'm being humble for the Lord. I don't need to outsource like, oh, just vibe with me. Just, just vibe with me. And you don't need to do nothing else. When I feel like people gaslight me, bro, I just shut it down. Why? Because you don't need to gas me up. There was a picture when I was in that hotel. I took it. I don't know if I put it on my story yet, but it's no head. It's a balloon and they got other balloons, but it's a full body. And I said, look, I said, we all airheads. We really think higher than what we really need to think of ourselves. Glory be on to the Lord, man. I remain humble underneath the Lord. I don't care. Whatever the Lord allows me to do, glory be on to the Lord. Whatever you see in me, glory be on to the Lord. Whatever you see in me, know I have seen it within myself. And if you want to talk about it, we could definitely talk about it. But I, don't, I live in my truth. I don't sugarcoat nothing no more. Why? Because I'm the salt of the world. That's what a believer is. You are the salt of the world. I'm not going to call you something that I have not called myself. I used to be goofy. That's why I could call people goofy, dumb, ignorant. You understand what I'm saying? But now that I see the greater within myself because the great God that is within me, and vibe with me up, down, on side, on side. Now I see it in you too. And I only call you a goofy if you don't want to accept it. If I laid hands on you, I laid hands with on myself, inflicted myself. Glory be on to the Lord, man. Life ain't nothing but a big old mirror. And the people that you around should let you know what you reflecting. Huh? Glory be on to the Lord, man. Woe to you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites, for you shut up the kingdom of heaven against men, for you neither go in yourselves, nor do you allow those who are entering to go in. Woe to you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites, for you devour widows' houses for a pretense, make long prayers, therefore you will receive greater condemnation. Woe to you, scribes. Are y'all not reading this for yourselves? I'm done, loved one. I'm going to end it off here. Because I know y'all tired of hearing my mouth. Jesus come back in a new form. That his own disciples didn't recognize him because of image. Why? Because they didn't have the heart for him. But there was one. And it's so crazy that man didn't want to put his name in here. And now they want you to debate and debacle about who, who is the one that God loved. And I'm going to go there. And he said, hold on, let me find it. Let me find it. Do we walk? Do we walk? Verse 7, this is John chapter 20, uh, chapter 21, John chapter 21, verse 7. Therefore, that disciple whom Jesus loved said to Peter, it is the Lord. Now, when Simon Peter heard that it was the Lord, he put on his outer garments, for he was stripped down because he was working at sea. They said everybody else's name in the beginning. Simon Peter, Thomas, the one they called twin, Nathaniel, um, a Gali, the sons of uh, Big Z, and the two other disciples that were together. Why will you name the other two, two disciples? Because once again, man wants to play games. Once again, man wants to play games. Why? Why? Why, why would you think that? Because then everybody's going to want that person to talk, or you're only going to want to listen to that person. They want, they want to name everybody else, but they want to keep your name silent. They want to act like they forgot to add yours to the memoir or whatever it is. Oh, we forgot. No, you didn't. You didn't want people to know. That's why they forgot to put the tag. <laughs> oh, LA. That's why they forgot to put it. Oh, it was an accident, was it? Oh, okay. And everybody over here battling it. And it's right here. That's why, loved ones. Because it's going to be easy for you to get the fish that they can't catch in the water. Because you are the living water that the fish go towards because they're ner they know they're going to be nourished and, and taken care of. Callie, come on now. They know. So they automatically leave the name out of it. But, oh, God's with them. Who? Um, I don't know his name. I forgot. Right. But I'm just like this person. I know the Lord. I see him in many forms. 
I know my God. I'm already prepared to get to him. I don't have to jump out. I'm going to get to him when I get to him because I already know he loves me. See, other people know when God comes. Now they're trying to put garments on, look right, and jump out and act like they're doing so much. Why are you doing all that? We're going to get back to the shore. Glory be on to the Lord. But you knew God was mad with you, Peter. You knew God was upset with you. And you still didn't get it. Then you felt some type of way because you knew God loved me because I was perfected and blemished and I just walked with the Lord and did what the Lord did. I never tried doing more than what the Lord needed me to do. I am you, you are me, people. And I need, to, I, need to, I need to wrap it up. Jesus said to them, come and eat. Yet none of the disciples dared to ask him, who are you? Knowing that it was the Lord. None of the disciples dared to ask. Why? Because the one he loved already told you it's the Lord. Y'all better go off of what I said. Y'all know the Lord loved me. You know I'm connected to him spiritually. I'm talking outer too. Y'all y'all are. They want to still ask it though. Their flesh still wants to say, are you really Jesus? Are you, re are you really? But they fear. Because some people can't get faith. They're only able to Everything they do, fearful. You amongst the Lord, you're fearful. Glory be unto the Lord. He said, now this is the part I need y'all to hear. Jesus came and took the bread and gave it to them and likewise the fish. This was now the third time Jesus showed himself to the disciples after he raised them from the dead. So when they were eating breakfast, Jesus said to Simon, Peter, son of Jonah, why do you love me more than these? Do, no, he said, do you love me more than these? And he said to him, yes, Lord, you know that I love you. He said, feed my lambs. Pay attention. He said to him again a second time, Simon, son of Jonah, do you love me? And he said to him, yes, Lord, you know that I love you. He said to him, tend to my sheep. I'm wrapping it up, people. He said to him a third time, Simon, son of Jonah, do you love me? Peter was grieved because he said to him a third time, do you love me? And he said to him, Lord, you know all things. You know that I love you. Jesus said to him, feed my sheep. Are y'all getting tired of God asking, do you love you? Do you love him? Why would I get grieved if every time you ask me, you're giving me a promotion? Father God, continue to ask me if I love you so I can reply yes, and then you can open the heavens up more. Father God, continue to ask me if I love you so I can reply yes, so you can promote me higher than no man underneath the sun has ever been promoted. Father God, continue to ask me, do I love you? So I can reply yes, so you can give me the understanding that will make Solomon look mediocre. Are you understand what I'm saying? See, when you have a guilty heart, you start taking everything with a, with a, with a negative conscience. Bro, all God wants, sis, all God wants to do is promote you. Go out your way and say, Father, I know I just told you two seconds ago, but I want to let you know right now in this tick of time that I love you. I want to do more than just feed your lamb. I want to do more than just tend to your sheep. I want to do more than just feed your sheep and your lamb. I want to turn the raging wolf into a sheep. I want to turn the bear into something care, careful, a care bear. I want to make the lion feel comfortable in my presence. I want to take more. I want to take care of the animals that everybody else is feared to feed. Are you understand what I'm saying? All you got to do is love the Lord and respond every time he asks you something. More surely I say to you, when you were younger, you gird yourself and walked where you wish. But you, when you are older, you will stretch out your hands and another will gird you up and carry you where you don't wish. This he spoke signifying by the death he will be glorified by God. When he had spoke this, he said to him, follow me. Then Peter turning around saw the disciple whom Jesus loved following, who also had leaned in during the last supper and said, Lord, who will betray you? Peter said, seeing this to Jesus, but Lord, what about this man? This is where feelings are going to get hurt again. And this is where I'm going to wrap it up. See, God knows you love him. So you ain't got to die. <laughs> glory, glory be unto the Lord. They know God loves you and they know they got to get slayed and get born again, but you just get, get pushed into the paradise. You get the blessings and the promises without having to do what they got to do. And they're mad and they want to turn around and they say, but God, what about this one? Why they ain't got to do what I got to do? 
And when you're really a true friend, you say, I'm trying to save you from doing what I had to do. You ain't got to drink that cup, loved one. Just believe in the Lord. You ain't got to pin yourself to that cross. Just, just believe in the Lord. A faithful friend will lay down his life to save another. And Peter, this is why you got to go through what I have to go through. Because you don't know how to be a faithful friend. I don't want you to end up like those people. You're still going to end up where this one that I love is going, but you're going to take the long road because you still have fear. So now you, you didn't want to go with plan A? Take plan B. Don't kill the children. Take plan B. Save them from doing what you had to go through. Don't worry about the ones that turn about. What about them? You ain't got to go through what they got to go through, loved one. Verse 22. Jesus said to him, if I will that he remain till I come, what is that to you? You follow me. See, everybody trying to worry about how you get in the kingdom. You didn't have to go through all this, all this stuff I went through, probably because you had fear and I had faith. Probably you had faith, but it didn't balance out your fear. And I had faith on both sides. What you mad for? You still going to be able to eat. You still getting the table at the Lord's. You still getting a mansion? What you mad for? Why you want me to die? Because God loves me more than he loves you? God ain't got no favorites. Glory be unto the Lord. Then the saying went out among the brethren that this disciple would not die. Yet Jesus did not say to him that he would not die. But if I will that he remain till I come, what is that to you? See how everybody takes some truth and mix it up and make it more than what it is? You're using your power to make sure that I remain here. Why? Because you keep talking about me. You keep trying to take what God said based off of you trying to get my head beheaded. And God said what he said. What is it to you? Who lives and who dies? Father God, I'm going to mind my business as black God or David, Ezel, Joseph, and I'm going to tend to the sheep or I'm going to feed the sheep if you want me to allow or I'm going to feed the lambs or I'm going to take care of the raging wolf or I'm going to take care of the unclean spirit or the main spirits or the righteous or the darkness. Whatever it is, you in charge and I ain't bothered by nothing. I ain't about to ask what's up with this person because you're going to tell me when I need to know and I ain't going to ask about this person because you're going to tell me when I need to know. All I need to know is, do I need to die for you? And you can reply with a yes or a no because I don't mind. Glory be unto the Lord, because you know I don't care about the image. I only care about your light and how you live in inside your kingdom with your righteous kin. Take my heart, Lord, and do as you will with it. Take my footsteps and guide them wherever you want to go, because I know every road that I take is going to lead into peace. Elohim over everything. If it ain't C7, it ain't G. Y'all have a wonderful weekend, and I'll see y'all when I see y'all. Link in the bio if you need me for anything, okay? Positive vibe, positive moves, do what you do. Positive vibe, positive moves, do what you do. If it ain't C7 or what it is, shout out to the God family, the real family. SAS, what we don't stress, we manifest. Keep our vibes high like the sun. We don't walk the God, we run. If you're not the Lord's people, we are not equal. Don't smile at me, bow to me.